Hello and welcome to the Chrome installation tutorial. In this video, in this video we will teach you how to uh, install and configure the Combu package. So first of all, let's create a new empty project in Unity and import the Combu package. In the install folder, install, you will find the two files which are CombuDB that is the um, the SQL script that will create the tables in your database and CombiWeb that is the, the compressed file which contains the, the files to be uh, uploaded on your web server to your web server so first of all let's go to phpMyAdmin to create a new uh, database let's go database and create CombiTest for the characters code, we will use UTF-8 general CI and let's create. So let's go to computers and import, then select the file combi-db.sql uh, and execute. As you can see here, we, go, we have the, all the database tables handled by the system, combi system. So the next step is to uh, uncompress the, the combi web zip, which is here, and uncompress and move it to your uh, web server root. In my case, it is here. Then let's go to the uh, lib folder and open the config PHP uh, file that is the configuration file used by the web services. So let's open and uh, you will find in the documentation PDF uh, the meaning of all these uh, variables. But for now we will see uh, we will uh, um, we will see only this for the database connection settings uh, constants in which case uh, it is uh, DB server in my case it is localhost the database name in my case it is computest database user in my case it's root and its password in my case it is empty. Now we have already set up the, the, web, uh, the web services and we can go to uh, the admin panel, so scale local admin. As you can see here, uh, we are already log logged in because uh, when the um, when the database table admin cb admin account is, uh, is empty and you first access the admin control panel it will automatically uh, create a new user with the default username and password and already uh, automatically logged in so uh, let's go to, to leaderboards and create a leaderboard so in my case, my leaderboard, we set the score type. The first item, uh, the first mod is uh, increase the same user per user. This means that uh, for each uh, um, for each score uh, sent by a user, it will increase the same record in uh, the table CB leaderboard user. The second mod replace best score per user will uh, will use the also one only record per user, but will replace it instead of increase its value. Uh, the third one will replace the same score for each user, and the, the fourth will uh, will add a new record, a new score. Uh, each time a user will send a score, so you will have you can have uh, more records for it, for the same user in the same leaderboard. 
the Pentagram user usually is an uh, integer, but you can also set float for decimal, va decimal value. And order type is uh, how the ASCORS uh, will be uh, filled. In, uh, by default, it is descending, so the highest value is uh, the first rank. If you set the second value that is uh, ascending, then the lowest value will be the first rank. Hello Anonymous is a new, is a new feature. If you set it to yes, then the leaderboard uh, will accept also scores sent without a currently logged in user. So this is usual, usual, uh, useful. Uh, for example, if your game is uh, an old-style arcade game where um, you don't allow uh, um, a user registration and login process. So let's save. The first column in uh, every section is the ID of, uh, um, of the section of the record, in which case this is the ID identifier of uh, this record. So my leaderboard has ID1. So now we can uh, return back to Unity and set and uh, open the demo scene. Sorry. And in the CB Manager script properties, we will set the stage URL uh, because we are currently uh, in the development development environment so in our example it is scale local plus Kong and set to user stage this is because uh, you can use you can have two different files for uh, the production server and uh, the stage server so now we can uh, start and create a new user, which is my user, password my user, and let's create. You can see in the result log that uh, the user has been created with ID 1. The ID of course is uh, unique for this user, so now we can go to login and set my user my user login well now uh, we have logged in logged in to combi and we can access more uh, sections for example if we go to custom we can uh, we can have uh, um, an undefined uh, number of custom data for each account the custom data is are usable because this way you don't need to uh, to modify the classes or database table of the of the, uh, the account player account to in order to uh, add more properties for the user in which in this case we have uh, by default coins last name first name and position this is because uh, the demo scene is using my user, uh, my user class, which is a, a custom class uh, created uh, derivating by uh, from uh, CB user, and this class uh, automatically uh, adds a new custom new custom data to the user, which is exactly uh, those that you see here. We can. Uh, change the values of this data for example if we want to add more coins we can set for example 100 and say if you can see here we have now uh, 100 coins for first name uh, francesco and save now we uh, we are called francesco we can also add a new custom, new data, uh, new custom data. For example, uh, experience with value of zero. 
safe and now we have a new custom data experience. In the leaderboard section you can uh, send a new score to leaderboards. For, for example, in which case we first uh, load a leaderboard which is uh, in my case my leaderboard with ID 1. So let's load. In the result log you will, see, you will find uh, all the registered scores uh, including my own score. My score is the, the score uh, of the currently uh, logged in user. So for example, let's send a, a score value of 100 and save. Now, we, now you see the, that the list has my user, which is me, with a score value of 100. Since the leaderboard has been uh, set with a score type, increase the same score per user. If we now uh, send a new score, for example, 1000 and save, now you see that the new score value has been, uh, in, has been added to the already existing one. And we have now a new uh, value of 1100. You will see the, all the scores uh, registered in the leaderboard from the admin panel, clicking on uh, scores button. And you see here, we have now a new record for my user. We can also change if we if you set uh, an ID which is not existing, existing, uh, and try to load it. To, of course, to say that that leaderboard has not been found. And we have also uh, other sections, for example, achievements. You first need to uh, create an achievement. For example, my achievement. This is if you can, if you want, it can be uh, repeated or not. Uh, if uh, it can be repeated, then the max uh, value of a progress is 100. If you set and uh, if uh, if a score, if a user send a new progress when his his where um, his own uh, progress in this achievement is already set to one hundred, of course the, the the progress will be ignored. If it is set to yes, then the achievement can be repeated. So once the user uh, reach reaches the um, the score, the progress of 100, and send a, a new progress of, uh, for example, uh, 20. Then uh, a, score, um, a new a field, the field uh, counter uh, will be increased by one, and uh, a new uh, score will be set to 20. For now, let's go to no. You see here the uh, ID of these ach achievements that you set here, and then uh, you can add a new progress that is a percentile. percentile. You can also have uh, contacts. Of course, in, in our case, uh, we have uh, other users. For example, we can, we can log out and create a new user, a new user one, password and user one, create. Now let's go here and log in again with my user. Let's go to contact. And here we will set my user one. You can add. Now uh, you will see that uh, in the show friends, my user one is my friend. We can also uh, show different uh, uh, sec subsections of contacts, for example, show requests. About show requests, it's uh, uh, it this is empty currently because the, in the configuration of Combu, we have set uh, friends require accept is a false. This uh, this will mean that uh, each time we'll uh, if we uh, add a new user to friend as a friend. It will not be. Uh, it um, it not doesn't need to uh, accept the request, but it is automatically added uh, added to our friend list. 
if we set this to true and the save, let's go back to the contacts friend and delete the record. Now if we return back to Unity and try to add uh, my user 1, you can see that it is no more um, listed in the, in the friends list, but it is in the uh, show requests of uh, this user. So for example, log out with my user and log in with my user 1. Login. Let's go to contacts. You see here, no, we have no friends, but we, if we go to show requests, then you see uh, that uh, my user has been requested um, a request of a friendship. Also, the buttons changes because uh, due to uh, the subsections. In this case, we if we go to uh, show requests, we can accept or remove a request. So, for example, let's go to let's set the username of my user, which is this and accept. Now it has been accepted and if we go to show friends it is in my friends. Now let's try to log out and log in again with my user and in contacts it is again in uh, my friends you, you will see uh, my user one. Well that's all for now and thanks for watching.